I represent the fine art painter and illustrator Michael Italiander. I've known his work for a very long time, which is hardly surprising because my name is Gary Italiander and he happens to be my father. It's interesting because his work has always fascinated me and in fact it led to my own creativity in the direction of first music and then photography. My father's story is quite unique. Though there are many fine artists in many different genres, the, re the reality is that there's something special that's added according to the story that goes with the person behind the art. In my, in my father's case, he grew up in an era between the First and Second World Wars. And at the age of about 17, he was probably the youngest war artist, creating paintings for the Ministry of Information. This led to some of the paintings that you're going to see. These weren't done during the war, but nevertheless, they were based on a lot of the um, things that he had worked on and was related to from that period. Leading on from that, we see a few of the fine art paintings that he's done and a number of illustrations which make for very interesting viewing. Some of the paintings have particular stories relating to them, particularly in the case of the two paintings shown of Nelson Mandela. The first Mandela painting depicts the story of the equality that he wanted to see, that all people should be equal. And the second painting depicts a story which is really very unknown, and that is that during his period in captivity, he read about Anne Frank, he was inspired by her, and so were many of his colleagues in later life, and this shows that connection with Anne Frank, writing her diary in the attic while he was in prison, and the, the portrait that's been painted, in fact, depicts that period after prison when he thinks back. This is actually a memory of that whole relationship. <laughs> 